The Resource Center for Human Rights and Civic Education has condemned the federal government for its insensitivity to many plights facing Nigerians. The executive director of the center, Dr. Ibrahim Zikurilai, made this known during a press conference on the state of the nation in Abuja. Zikurilai says the disappointment at the electoral process hardship suffered as a result of the narrow scarcity and hiking bank Fuel and electricity charges has made life unbearable for most Nigerians. The 2023 elections provided Nigerians with an opportunity to reset the democratic process and a true good governance in their country. Citizens across the nation were hopeful that they would seize the opportunity provided by the ballots to elect leaders of their choice. Sadly, while citizens were determined to participate in the process, Desperate political actors in many regions of the country prevented the free and seamless expression of the people's supreme will. We saw worrisome situations of organized criminal attempts to prevent eligible voters from exercising their democratic rights. There were also cases of attacks on police units and the destruction of electoral materials. Even journalists covering the elections were not spared as some targeted media personnel were brutalized and their equipment destroyed. Sadly, as we speak, the gang of criminals and thugs who assaulted and threatened electors on election day are still working scot-free. Therefore, in the face of the blatter refusal of the state to take action against the perpetrators of all the criminal acts which were committed on election, the crisis calls on citizens to take action in the forms of steady petitions to national and international bodies, especially where perpetrators of such as have been properly identified. It is pertinent to note that it is at this difficult time the cold-hearted and insensitive government, government decided to impose unjustified charges for key services. The hike in electricity tariffs, extortionate bank charges, and the pump price of petroleum products constitute another brazen assault on the welfare and prospects of economic survival of the people of Nigeria. The CBN should be held accountable for every Nigerian life lost during this car shortage. We cannot overlook the numerous Nigerians who lost loved ones because they lack the cash to pay their medical bills. We cannot overlook the men and women whose farm produce rotted due to a lack of customers with cash to purchase it. We also cannot ignore our countrymen in the rural areas who will in anguish and endure the pangs of hunger for weeks because a handful of individuals in Abuja decided to implement a poorly conceived and poorly digested policy. Crisis demands reasonable compensation for these groups of citizens who have suffered so much due to the cashless policy.